No, a bit sore. What's going on there? A bit sore from the weekend, from last weekend, Pete. A uh, bit of bro bone, bone bruising. It's sort of called now. Sore knee back in my day, but bone bruising now. And uh, we, so we just have to make a final decision on that one. It's not, it's not overly bad, but there's, there's a chance that he may miss. So he's going to be close. We've got to make a really good call on that, and I'll probably just rely on uh, on Kurt in the next couple of hours to you know, get a final assessment on that one. But much better than what we thought. After the West Coast game, I, I didn't quite know what to think on that one. So, Because, I mean, in the end, it's his shoulder and he knows what he needs to be able to do, the way he wants to play and how it feels. But obviously we involve uh, myself, certainly the medical people, and he's had, uh, he's had all the scans, you know, and it's all come up pretty well, no structural damage. And uh, Stephen Sweat, so we, we pull that information. But the, certainly the player's opinion plays a big role. What I know is this, it's a Friday night footy is an exciting team, a time for any any footy club to play. It's great exposure for your club, so where they are and where we're at the moment, it's an opportunity to um, to show our supporters on a on a national stage some improvement of what we're of where we want to go. And I saw some last week, you know, in our first and third quarters. We need to keep pushing with that, get continual improvement, more and more of it, and not not regress back to the two previous games. Your better performances this year, Neil, have been against the better side, the, your Collingwood, Hawthorne, St Kilda. Yep. Is that, do you go out there with a bit more of a, a hunting mentality against them, really spoiling for the fight? And is that something that you need to engender in the team every week? Well, you'd like to see that every week, Peter. I, I mean, there's a trend there, OK? And I get interested in trends. So um, certainly, our, our, you're absolutely correct. Our better performances have been against those sides. Uh, and we need to make sure that we can try and find that energy and, uh, and that sort of footy against every side that we play against because that'll be part of us improving as a footy club because that'll enable you to win enough games to play in the finals. If, you're just gonna, if, if clubs just set themselves to play against the, best, the so-called best teams in the comp, it's a, it's a really poor attitude to, to have, isn't it? You know, that's, that's not what we want. We, we need to be unconditional. And I'm not suggesting we are conditional, but we need, we need to make sure that... Uh, the, the principle of being unconditional, in, no matter who we play, where we play, is, is engendered into our group. To me, it just seems like every week, it feels like you guys are going to do something mm. and turn it around and get a win on the board. Well, the good thing there is that you feel like we're going to do something. That's, that's music to my ears. Because if you sat there and said, every week, it looks like you're not going to do anything. Which I think, you know, for the two games I keep talking about, it looked like we weren't going to do anything. So. Uh, it's good that you make that comment. It's, it's good feedback. And so it looked like you're going to do something, but we just quite can't get there. I don't know. I don't know. But that's why it's important to be uh, fiercely persistent so that we can get around that corner you described and, uh, and get on our way. Ian Callan, he uh, he's okay for Central, but needs a couple more. Yeah, yeah. Ian's uh, got through the game, Tom. Um, said he was pretty rusty, but plays again. And, you know, probably not dissimilar to Daniel, Daniel Talia. Hopefully he can put some really good footy together and put some pressure on too. I, I really hope he can, guys, ladies. I, I'm, from what I saw pre-season with Ian, he's got a fantastic attitude, he's got a great hunger to play. It would be a great story. And, uh, you know, if he can play some good SNFL footy, I'll certainly have a look at him. I'm not sure. I mean, Cooney, Hall, maybe. Maybe Lake. Possibly Lake. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you know, I can't, I can't do anything about that. But it would certainly, you would think, all three of those would add, add to their side. But, so we just have to wait and see. So, yeah, we haven't been able to, to base our selection around whether they're in or not because we don't know, obviously. We'll, we'll need to be very good defensively against the Western Bulldogs because they, uh, they've got the great capacity to use the ball quickly by hand or by foot. And uh, if our defensive action is not quick and precise against them, um, they have a capacity to score really quickly. Okay, so we need to be really good in that area for the whole game, not for periods of it, because that style of play is ingrained for them. They keep doing it, no matter what the situation. And so uh, our defensive action will need to be really good. And if it is, we'll create enough scoring opportunities to go the other way.